got an award for best actor in a comedy and a drama in the same year. Yeah, he's... Traitors Woo! and the Red Green Show, and now can be seen... Hard Rock Medical on, on TVO. TVO. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat McKinnis! Throw him right in the hole. Throw him in the hole. But this was my favorite dog. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for Katie Chats here at the I Seen You on TV comedy show at the Drake Hotel in downtown Toronto with Pat McKenna. What are you most looking forward to for tonight's festivities? Uh, I'm in the second act and I haven't improvised with Peter Callahan in about 25 years, so it's going to be a blast just being on stage with him again, I think. Mm. Any tricks of the trade that you will be relying on in terms of improv? Um, no, because I haven't done it in so long. I'm going to be listening a lot and uh, then trying to advance the scenes. The little things I remember about improv, I'm going to try and do that as best I can and not hurt anybody, really. What's it like being here tonight with all of these comedy figures that I'm sure you've known for years and years? Well, that's, what, that's the reason I said yes, because when I saw the list of people, it's people I've known for about 30 years, off and on stages and parties and so on. So it should be fun. If we don't have fun, it's our own fault, really. You know. <laughs> and you have a new show, Hard Rock Medical. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it take, it's about doctors training young doctors to work in northern Ontario. So uh, I play one of the older doctors. and. Uh, <laughs> So we've been doing that for about a year now. We're going back, I think it's September, up to Sudbury to shoot the rest of it. Uh, it's a really great show because it takes a certain type of person to be a, that type of doctor. And I get to be kind of the maverick amongst them. So it's a great character, lots of fun, and then the show's doing really well. What's it like shooting up in Sudbury? You know, it's a lot of fun because Sudbury has got one of those uh, tax credits right now where everybody's racing up north to shoot. So I'm staying in the only hotel they have and down the hall is Jason Priestley and Richard Dreyfus and Billy Baldwin and it's just the place is jammed with everybody shooting up there. And in terms of preparing for your role as this veteran doctor, what type of research or preparation did you do? Well, we had the Northern School of Medicine up there. That's sort of what the show's based on. So I did a lot of work with the doctors up there, just working in the ER and hanging out with them and seeing how fast people come in and the type of person you got to be and how quick the vocabulary has to be. And with a medical show or a law show, things like that, that's really the biggest hurdle is getting those words around your mouth that is really, I avoided them in school. <laughs> to have them now face me is really a challenge. And as you've been shadowing these doctors, have there been any experiences in particular that have really impacted you? Uh, basically, the I only see the people come in with the trauma and then they take off because we're not allowed to really go in there and follow up because of insurance reasons. Other than to see how calm they get in the center of the storm. That was really quite interesting because everything's a very hyper environment, but the certain people, they just really settle into that and they can handle that kind of thing. And that was really what I wanted to accomplish with my character because he's very frenetic, that when it's emergencies come to find that center of gravity that they go to. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. And have an amazing time improvising this evening. Thanks so much, Katie. It should be fun. <laughs> I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the I Seen You on TV comedy show at the Drake Hotel in downtown Toronto. Last minute too. And a big hand for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for supporting Thank you so much.